Uh, good morning. Once again, here we are, uh, Los Angeles, California, and we are in uh, static auto space, demonstrating the ability of the amazing Firebiter matrix and its breakdown components to work in confined spaces. So, just truly Dolphy Alexander Gilpin, we are demonstrating this morning. Uh, we have a two cross two which is a breakdown component of the amazing fiber by 12 matrix during the uh, algorithmic process of uh, determinants and partial determinants. Now for this exercise, what uh, we're doing here in auto space, static auto space, uh, uh, we have one of the two cross two breakdown and we are doing an exercise in uh, differentials now. So for the elements of the matrix, we have d by dx for r11, d by dx for r12, and d by dx for r21, and d by dx for r22. That is to say, whatever uh, the value of r11, we, we're going to find d by dx. And whatever the value of r12, we're going to find differentiate with respect to uh, x d by dx is another way of saying dy by dx. Whatever the value of r21, we are going to find dy by dx, and whatever the value of r22, we are going to find d by dx. So when we say d by dx of uh, r11, uh, or whatever it is, it doesn't have to be resistance here. Uh, d by dx of the uh, 1, 1 position here, in, in row 1 and column 1, is equal to x. And we are signing now that d by uh, dx of uh, 1, 2 is equal to x plus 1. This is assignments. And that d by dx of uh, 2, 1 is x squared. And d by dx of 2, 2 is x squared plus 1. So we have the values here now. x, x squared, x plus 1, and x squared plus 1. And we find the determinant now by crisscrossing x times x plus 1 minus x squared times x plus 1. And when we do that now, we have x minus x squared. So d by dx uh, of uh, rule 1 and column 1, we, we, we'll just sign... Uh, we call it R11, and d by dx uh, of uh, R12, and d by dx of R21, and d by dx of R22. So this is just going through the, the process again, and saying to find a determinant, we multiply d by dx11 and d by dx of 22, and we subtract d by dx of 21 and times d by dx of 12. And if we put it in the y prime fashion here, which we have over here now, let's see if we could add. I like this. It's not showing over here. The, the, there's a shadow in that direction. So uh, let's just. Uh, all right, it's showing you now. So we have now that y prime, which is the same as d by dx, y prime 2, 2 times y prime 3, 3 minus y prime 2, 1 uh, into that would be uh, the, the determinant of uh, starting the determinant of this 3 by 3 over here. if we could highlight this 3 by 3 more explicitly. Well, there's also a shadow over it here. Anyway, we, are, we have uh, projected a 3 by 3 also, and we have no d by dx 1, 1, d by dx 1, 2, 1, d by dx 1, 3, d by dx... Uh, 
is my key, if, if you could see the key here. D by DX21, D by DX22, and D by DX23. D by DX31, D by DX32, and D by DX33. This is the same as saying no Y prime. Let's see if we could, yeah. Y prime, one one, Y prime one two, Y prime one three, Oh, this is in the shadow as well. Minus y prime two one plus y prime two two minus y prime two three. This is when we put in the, the signs here. Uh, plus minus plus minus plus minus alternatively plus minus plus minus plus. And here for the three one we'd have a plus y one three one minus y one three two plus y one. 3, 3. The y1 or the y prime is the same as dy by dx. So whatever the value, this is just an exercise in uh, differentials, you know, when we use the elements as some differential and we assign some value to it, which is uh, not usually uh, uh, y1 equals uh, 1, 1 equals y12. They all have different uh, variations here. And we could go ahead and find the determinant of this 3 by 3 uh, over here, yeah. By putting y prime into this uh, two by two, and then minus y prime into this two by two, plus y prime into this three by one, and times this uh, two by two here, because we know to find the determinant of a two by two. We we did it up here, and so. With this, we are well on our way of finding the determinant of this 3 by 3 matrix using differential elements. In other words, we are using differentiation with respect to x, dy by dx, uh, as each element of the 3 by 3. So once again, we are demonstrating five, the amazing 5 by 12 matrix, breakdown components, and we are working in confined spaces. We have worked in cargo buses, we have worked in uh, uh, passenger bus, uh, we have worked in uh, no, um, confined auto space, which is a smaller space. But that's the, the property and the characteristic of the AMZ 5 cost of matrix to demonstrate working in small spaces. And this is static space, as you know, that would pose a danger of me driving and uh, doing this maneuver. So uh, once again, uh, yours truly, Dolph Alexander Gilpin, uh, we are signing out from uh, static auto space with our amazing 5x12 matrix.